Hello guys, my name is David Fields and welcome back to Field Skills. We're out at the camp today just uh, uh, spending some time out here and uh, decided I wanted to shoot a video and uh, it's springtime, it's actually Easter weekend, this is Saturday before Easter and uh, the wild edibles are starting to sprout up, the spring wild edibles. And so today I wanted to do a, a quick video on thistle. And we're going to go over, I've identified an area that's got a bunch of thistle coming up and uh, trying to keep it cut in part of my land out here. And uh, I left a patch yesterday uh, as I was cutting the yard to uh, go over there today and let's just do a little quick wild edibles uh, video on thistle. So uh, we'll move over there and... Uh, Turn the camera back on and, and talk about something we can harvest, collect, to eat during the springtime and through a good part of the summer when you find them. And then we may come back over here and uh, cook a little of it and uh, try it out. So uh, stay tuned and we'll be right back with wild thistle. Alright guys, this is wild thistle. Uh, as you can see, you can go out in the early spring and these things are going to pop up and they grow inches a day. It seems like they just really shoot up. But they have these bulbs at the top that turn into flowers. And they have these spines, these needles with barbs on them. So they're not easy to collect and process. But uh, they're very uh, good nutritionally. Uh, have both edible and medicinal properties to them. It's real good for liver conditions, uh, detoxing, uh, poisons, chemicals out of the liver, uh, can help with cirrhosis of the liver. It's been used for over 2,000 years, uh, some of my research said, for uh, liver ailments. So it's a real good medicinal as well as it's edible. Now nearly everything on this is edible, but you've got to process like these leaves. And let me get you in a little closer. Okay, you can see these barbs right here all on it, and they will stick you. And they, like I said, they have this little barb to them that'll get in there. So you can eat the leaves in a salad, uh, but you don't want to eat the the barbs, so there's a lot of processing with the leaves, but the bulbs can be uh, cooked and eaten similar to an artichoke. Uh, and the medicinal value, when these bulbs head up, flower, and then turn to seeds, the seeds are used for a tea, uh, which is where the most uh, liver detoxification elements in this plant are is in these, uh, the seeds that come from these things. So a lot of uh, nutrition, health food stores will have thistle seeds to make a tea out of to drink to help detox your liver, as we said. But uh, you can eat it all, the bulbs, the leaves, the stalks, even the roots to this thing are real good, but the key is processing it. Right there is the bulb we were talking about. On the, let's You can see that little bulb there, and you can cook that. Let's cut it in half, and it's all of these are going to turn into seeds on the inside and grow there. But this can be edible, uh, but the seeds are what's really useful. Okay, with the stalk though, this is the simplest thing to eat. You want to as you can see, there's a stringy outer layer, almost like a bark, to this. String that off. 
and it's got a texture very similar to celery. But, uh, and thistle holds a lot of moisture, a lot of water in it, so uh, could be used if you find it for uh, some hydration out of it. But uh, being able to take that stalk, like I said, it's the texture of celery, but it's a real plain taste. There's a clean taste, I guess you would say, to it. But it is very nutritional, uh, has a lot of antioxidants in it, but uh, it can be put into stews and a lot of different thing, uses for it. Or I've heard of people taking it, putting vinegar on these stalks, slicing them up, vinegar, salt and pepper, and making kind of a, a salad out of it. So a lot of different ways you could use it. But uh, just eating it plain, now you're not gonna get a lot of flavor out of it like this, but it is food, it's nourishment, it's sustenance going into your body. So let's take that back to camp. with us, clean that off, and, and we may work with that a little bit, but not bad, something easy to eat, so I'm going to harvest a few more of these, we'll take them back to camp, talk a little more, maybe about thistle, and then I'll put it in a pot and see how it cooks up. Alright guys, we're back at the camp, got the fire going, put a little more it on there, see if we... In just a minute, we're going to process some of this thistle and uh, there's some of the stalks that I picked up harvested over there. Let me get my little cook pot here, set it on the ground. That's the new setup I've got and what I want to do but remember what we talked about out there we want to get a lot of this stringy uh, kind of a purplish looking outer layer off of this those strings off. Let's just take my old hickory butcher knife which is one of the most useful bushcraft, very inexpensive, 10, less than $15. You can probably get one at your local hardware store. And uh, let's get my pot out here. Got some of my herbs I want to use. I'm going to set those to the side. Get my little bowl out. Let's just put some of these, peel off some of the strings to them. Now like I said when we were out there harvesting these, that uh, there's not much taste to this. It's got the texture of celery. Ooh, I got one of the little barbs. Ow! Just cut these up into chunks. 
like you might do with celery shape in a minute. All right, so let's start getting this ready. I'm going to take just some water. Get out my clean canteen here. And just basically cover like you would do potatoes or anything like that. Cover that up and what did I We're gonna take some beef bouillon cubes here. those in. As we said, there's very little flavor to the this, so we're going to add some of that flavor that we brought with us. And bouillon cubes are a great way to add beef or chicken flavor to something. Set that right over the fire. Let's see if we can. There we go. And let's let that go to work. Make a little adjustment to my cooking here. Take this pot off. That pot hanger isn't quite long enough and I'm going to use my toggle the string here to get that down. So what I want to do, better grab, grab this again. Pick that up. Run that toggle right through there. All right. That is cooking very nicely. Yeah. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take in this multi-spice kit here, I'm going to add a little salt, a little garlic salt, some black pepper, and some cayenne pepper to help flavor this. Let me get that other glove put my left hand though. Let that cook, so we're going to take the top off for a minute. Let's see, got a little salt. Put a little salt in there, a little black pepper. Wanted some cayenne pepper, that'll give it a little kick. And then just a touch garlic salt. That ought to give us some flavoring along with that bouillon cube in there. Looks like I've got a pretty good hot fire going. Get the coals there. Shouldn't be too long. We'll take this off the fire, give it a taste test. All right, guys. It's cooking up pretty good there. I think we'll. Take that off and take a little taste test. Pull this over. Is 
set that off to the side. That right there. Crow's going crazy on this. Let there we go. Take our top off. Get a little out here. See what this tastes like. A little crunchy, but it's got good flavor. I can taste that bouillon in there. I'd add a touch more salt. Just to see how that goes. But uh, it could cook longer, I'll be honest about that. But it, it has a flavor. A little crunchy, but not bad. Not bad at all. If it came down to it, you could make it through the night on a meal like this, and that's plenty of it in there. Try these smaller pieces. That bouillon really gives that a nice flavor. So, uh, cooking wild thistle as a survival food, as a a healthy food, a lot of antioxidants in it, but especially for uh, detoxification of your liver through that I could do you could do worse eating that so uh, it's really not bad we could add other early spring wild edible edibles like dandelion leaves and flowers they're all edible uh, clover is coming up big right now clover has uh, is completely edible roots up to the flowers uh, and would clover might add a little bit of whew, little bit of a sweetness to it. Clover is kind of like a honeysuckle uh, in those flowers, so it's really not bad for. It's got flavor, a uh, little salt and pepper, cayenne we put in there, a little garlic salt. But uh, that bouillon cube probably the flavor that comes through the most, and it's not bad. So try it. It's early spring, go out there, get you some, even if you do it in the house, and try some wild thistle. It's not bad. A little chewy. But uh, we're going to end this video now. You know, I always mention the quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. And Emerson said, Life is not a destination life is a journey so come and join us next time as we journey to self-reliance here in the great outdoors my name is david fields and you've been watching field skills mm -hmm.